Hi there. So in this video, we're going to configure a cluster Excel uh, for the gateways on site A. And that's site alpha. Okay. So first of all, make sure the gateways have the license already installed. Uh, we already covered this in a previous video. And then we have to enable the cluster Excel uh, feature uh, on CLI or in Clish. So we're going to do this right now, starting on gateway one. And we have to type uh, CP config. And here we have to choose the option enable cluster membership for this gateway. That's option number six. We have selected to enable cluster membership for this gateway and we press yes. So this gateway was enabled successfully and this will take effect after reboot. So now we have to reboot. I'll just save because we did a change and I'll type reboot. Yes. And we have to do the same thing for gateway 2. Uh, CP and that should be a six yes enable and save the change yes I'm sure okay mm, now the gateways they going to reboot okay so both gateways are up and we're going to continue uh this configuration using smart console uh right now uh the management server is still collecting some info status will turn to green in a few minutes so let's add a new network object gateways and server cluster and we use class command and here we have to type the name and i'll just say gateway cluster the IP address this can be 10111 and here we get to specify uh, what are going to be the members and in this case we want gateway 1 and gateway 2 to be the members for this cluster so here we have to choose add existing gateway select gateway one to be the primary and you get a warning here okay just press yes or install but not on gateway yes and since we we added gateway one first uh it means that it will have a higher priority over uh gateway two so it means that in one instance, uh, gateway uh, gateway one will be the only uh, gateway uh, uh, active, and gateway two will be the standby gateway. Okay, we can we can choose we can change these here by increasing or decreasing the priority, but we're just going to leave like that. And now let's uh, check the interface where we have to to specify the let me get the interfaces the virtual ip address okay and here we see uh the ip address for both gateways that we have defined and now we have to define the virtual ip uh, that is going to be shared between uh, between the gateways and recall that for this interface and I believe that 192.168.11 network this is going to be uh, the sync interface uh, meaning that if uh, this is going to be to sync information between the gateways okay so we can start editing this one 
so this is E0, our internal network. Let me just say this is a private one. Uh, have the member IP address. Actually, we have to say this is a cluster. Yes, and the cluster IP is going to be 10.1.1.1. And mask is going to be 24. Okay. Uh, this is an internal network, security zone. Yeah, we could define something, but no need. And this is a cluster, and we have to do the same for external. So we say this is a cluster interface, and so three, two, or three, zero, three, one. And this is going to be our sync interface. Okay, let me see if it's cluster and sync. One and two and six, eight, eleven. So it's eleven one. It means that it's a cluster and sync interface. Okay, so it's one and two and six, eight, eleven one slash sorry and four. And the last one, this is for DMZ and this is just a cluster. One and two, one, six, eight, twelve. Oops. One and two, one, six, eight, twelve, dot one, and four. Okay, and this is a class. Okay. Okay, I think everything's okay. Let's double check our sync interface. TOT one one three. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's it. Let me check again. General properties. Um, that's it. Okay, since so cluster Excel it's already enabled. So we have to press OK. And this object is going to be added. See here. Okay. So smart console still processing. Okay, and let me resize this. And you see that we have both gateways and the new object here with some blades enabled and we have to apply those changes and before doing that actually now what i want to do is here on my pulse targets okay and show you my pulse targets oops manage my policy layers now it's installing on all gateways available actually what i want is uh, this pulse package this pulse package named standard and i'll change and i'll say actually this is going to be i believe that's alpha yes site alpha i just say site alpha okay for this one uh only the cluster gateways will be used okay not all gateways but on specific gateways and it has to be just this gateway cluster okay so press okay so it means that uh from now on whenever we apply the policy it is going to be installed only on these two gateways and now we can close and we can install still getting used to our a1 new visual so 
I can just uh, like that uh, publish and install the change mm, let me see if I can if I get to use uh, the install fast policy okay now it's going to install for all gateways and install that is not compatible with change that we're making to last policy installation hmm. okay that's great that's great that's awesome okay so we have successfully uh enabled class at excel and added both gateways to this Cluster Excel object. What is the problem? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, we would have to troubleshoot this that error, and this is not something that I wanted to cover right now. But uh, now it's okay. Okay, so we have successfully deployed our configure class Excel. Um, so on the next video, uh, I think we're going to add an uh, LDAP server. Yeah, probably we will add the, uh, the LDAP server. And we're going to test also uh, with a new ho with a new host on our let the local network and see if it can cross over the gateways okay. and and our lab will start to get uh more functions or more features okay so i hope you enjoyed this video uh don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one